I don't want to start this video the way I normally start my videos. Normally I welcome you all to my channel and I'm happy and I'm cheerful. I will say that if you're new here, welcome and I'm Stephanie. Normally I try to do upbeat videos about makeup and fun things with my kids. But something has kind of come to my attention and I'm sad to say that it was not earlier. And that is that the beauty community recently lost a beautiful young lady named Taylor. She was a trans woman or trans girl and she was only 16 years old and because of bullying she decided to end her life. I have a 16 year old son. I can't imagine waking up one day and my son not being here. I can't imagine one day my son deciding that the world is not worth seeing another day and his life isn't worth living another day. So to say that what Taylor had to be going through had to be hellish is an understatement. From what I understand, she was bullied at school. I'm not sure if she was bullied on YouTube. I have not went through and looked at the comments in her videos except for the most recent ones that are talking about her passing. Some of those are positive and some of those are negative. The problem that transgender people face is astronomical. Unfortunately, they get it from family who's not accepting and from the world who is better but it's still not accepting enough. And when I was looking and trying to figure out what I needed to say in this video, I looked up statistics on suicide rates and it is staggering. The suicide rate for transgendered people is 41% at some point tries to end their life. That is almost 50%, with the highest rate being young adults and teenagers. We're losing our youth because we refuse to accept that they know who they are and they know what their body is supposed to be more than we do. If one of my children came to me and said, Mom, I know I was born a girl or a boy, but I feel like I was supposed to be the opposite gender. I would say, okay, well, what would you like me to do? Do you want to go shopping? Do we need to get you some clothes? Do we need to look in to surgery? What, what do you want me to do to make you feel comfortable in your skin? Because that's what it's about. It is not about putting on a show for people. It is not about just they need counseling no some of them do need counseling but it's because they can't accept how society is going to treat them not because they are wrong in any way of how they are feeling i have several transgender friends and they are all in different stages i have some that have fully kind of transitioned i have some that are living basically in hiding from the world and they're terrified of letting anyone know. I have a friend who is very, very dear to me who suffers from depression because she feels she cannot be herself outside of her house. So in her house, she is fully woman and that is how she views herself, but the minute she has to step out of the house, 
she has to look like what she is not, which is a man. And that is completely wrong. This world needs to change and be more accepting. And I am going to give big props to a lot of people in the beauty community that I am friendly with. First off, let me talk about Nikki Murphy. She made a video yesterday about this subject and how we as the beauty community need to come together and not accept bullying on any level. And I fully, fully agree. I'm going to link her video down below. There was a, another lady that also made a video yesterday. I'll put her link down below. She came up with the idea to actually make a bullying group. I'll put the link to that down below too. Let me just say, if you are transgender and you need someone to talk to, we will talk to you. You can message me, Twitter, message me through here. I will talk to you. I will put links to suicide hotlines down below. Please call someone. Do not take your life. Let me just say that I completely understand high school is hard. Middle school is hard. I was bullied many, many years. My bullying took place mostly in grammar school, but it kind of followed me throughout my school life. But just as middle school and high school, I kind of got better at dealing with it. But I know that feeling, but I cannot even imagine what day-to-day -day life is like when you are not in your right body, for one thing. So you're dealing with that. You have to come to terms with that. And you have to explain it to every single person you meet. And you may not have your family support. You may not have friends because they're just going to drop you. Oh, you're the weird kid? There's nothing weird about that. There's nothing weird about that. That is who they are and that's who they're meant to be. I think whatever you are and whatever you believe you are is what you're supposed to be. So if someone comes up to me and they tell me that they are a woman, I believe them. If they come up to me and tell me that they're a man, I believe them. If they come up to me and tell me that they're neither, I believe them. Why? Because what that person believes to be true about themselves is what is the truth about them. You have no right to put what your ideas on gender, sexuality, or anything else on other people. And us as the beauty community needs to not tolerate bullying on any level. So if we see it in comments, we need to nip it in the bud. We as the beauty community on YouTube needs to kind of stand together and say, we are not going to tolerate bullying, whether you are gay, straight, bi, pansexual, transgendered, whatever you are, we're here for you and we're going to embrace you. I know for a fact that a lot of the beauty groups on Facebook that I'm in have men that wear makeup, they have transgendered people, and we all get along. No one is making fun of anyone, and that is really the way the world needs to be. I'm sorry that this video was kind of long, drawn out. It was sad. I'm kind of uh, very emotional about the subject. Bullying is very near and dear to my heart. I'm actually going to make a full video about my bullying experience and it's not something that I am looking forward to because it's something I've actually tried to film a couple of times and I was just way too emotional to film it. Let's not let Taylor be forgotten. I'm going to put her channel down below if you want to go and leave a message and, and wish her rest and just say that we're not going to forget you because we're not. She's a beautiful person and it just breaks my heart that someone felt they had no other choice but to end their life, especially at 16. And I want to say two other things and, and I'm going to get off of here, but 
one to parents because I'm a parent myself if you have a child that comes to you and tells you that they're transgendered please just open your heart and open your mind they are going to have a tough enough time without you condemning them and without you trying to change them and without you making them feel a hundred times worse. You were their parent. You were supposed to love them unconditionally. I understand that it may be something different. It may not be something you understand. Do your research. Talk to your child and just know that it's not for attention. It's not something that it's just magically going to go away if you, you know, get them counseling. It's just, it's not going to go away. If you are a teen or a young adult or any age transgender person, just please know that there are people that will love you unconditionally, that will be your friend. There are people out there that will accept you. And the main thing is to find those people, whether it is to try to contact, you know, one of us here on Facebook that is going to be making these anti-bullying messages, whether it is joining the Facebook group that I talked about, whether it is just calling the suicide hotline, you will be able to find someone that cares for you and that will be there for you. Also, if, especially if you are a teenager and you're in high school, it does not last forever. High school just sucks for a lot of people. It just really does. It's like you're in a little fishbowl and if you're different from everyone else, then you're going to have all the eyes on you and people are going to talk about you because they feel different too. But they want to show the world that they're the same. So they put other people down. And that's just how high school is. I lived through that. And in no way am I saying that what I went through is your story. But I just know how bullying feels. And it's not right. And it's not okay in any way. But just know that it does not last forever. Even living with your parents doesn't last forever. So if right now, if you have to be in the closet... To be safe, stay in that closet until you can leave, until you can be safe. And just know that I honestly, from the bottom of my heart, love you. And I'll put those resources down for you. Please take one of those resources and to help yourself before you do anything that is permanent and unfixable. I love you guys. I hope you don't hate this video and I'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.